Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Privateer Righteous Fire. Well, last time we successfully flew our first mission for Admiral Terrell, and did a patrol of a lot of zones. Once we were finished with that, however, we were told that a guy at the, at the Drake base and Capella system wants to see us. So we should go see him. But before doing that, I'll, I'll uh, show you guys, I happen to have 300,000 credits. And there happens to be a ship dealer here in the Helen base uh, that we were at before. Now, now, you could, if you wanted to, buy the gun cooler. Let me show you that there. It's very, very, very expensive. 300,000 credits. It really, what it does is it, it increases your the delay of your... I guess the refire delay in your gun by about a third. So it essentially allows you to fire guns faster. But I don't really care about that too much because I, I mean, I do a pretty good job of taking out my enemies pretty quickly with, with it, uh, without it. And so for 300,000 credits, that's pretty expensive. So I'm going to ignore that. In its place, I am going to purchase a speed enhancer so that we can go faster. Yeah, and that's going to be really, really, really helpful and it'll be really nice. Uh, going forward there so we can boost our main speed just a little bit okay uh you know what we're at the point of the game i don't even not even worried about extra missions and stuff like that because we're actually getting pretty close to being so let's go ahead and get out of here and i'll show you the fastest way to get to the capella system all right the first thing we want to do is we want to go to regalis so let's go over there And of course, we'll need some opposition. But now, look at this. We can now go up to 1168 clicks with the speed enhancer. So that's pretty cool. And uh, 585 is our max speed. Is our max speed now without any afterburner on. So that's pretty cool. Boost our speed by almost 20%. So like I said, I, I mean, the gun cooler is helpful. But I, it, it honestly, it doesn't make that big of a deal. It does not make that big of an impact for me. So yeah, you can get it if you want, and it's certainly not a bad purchase if you want to, if you really want your guns to go off pretty quick. But again, for me, it's just not necessary. Come on. As always, as is tradition, we need to start the day off with killing of some talons. So basically, if the gun cooler is there we'd be firing 25% faster uh, with our gun, with our gunshots there, which could be helpful, but again, I don't really need it, as you can see. All right. Traitor to humanity, feel our wrath. Hey, you're pretty intense there. Well, I appreciate the intensity. I feel you're kind of at a loss there, especially when I took out two of your wingmen there. Okay, so let's make our jump. Tell on fire is getting a little heavier. Good for them, I guess. Okay, now from there we want to head over to Sherwood. We're essentially taking the back way. I don't think there's any asteroids here. No, okay. Good. I didn't think there were any asteroids. Give up the good work. Yeah, this allows us to get to our destinations even faster, which is going to be very helpful, especially with what we have to do coming up. Alright, so we jump here, and then from here we should be able to jump to Capella. Woo, should have known this wouldn't be that easy. Oh wait, it's talents. So yes, it is. Fire! Are you kidding me? I don't think, think they're in my line of sight. My bad. Okay, so let me take out these talents real quick, and then we'll be right back. Alright, got it. Now, since we are going to a pirate base, uh, I think getting uh, these goods will be okay. Because even if it's illegal, I can I can probably sell it at a probably sell it at a uh, at a base there. Okay, yeah. So there's some illegal food. We'll have no problems getting to it quickly because of my speed enhancer. Let's pick this up. And one more. Okay, I'll just go get this real quick. Yeah, look at how fast we can go. That's just so helpful. I love it. Okay, let's switch to my rear view mirror. Get the illegal 
food. And now we're good to go. Now from here, we should be able to jump to Capella. There it is. All right. Okay, a few more Talons. I even hit my jump one. I don't even think I've... Wow, these, these retros are coming right after me. I think one of them just tried to... Just tried to run into me there. Okay, fire! You cannot stop me. Okay, I definitely think I just ran into... Uh, an enemy ship uh, off screen there. I don't know if you heard it there. But I definitely think that was the case. Missiles just aren't as effective in, in this game as they are in... Oops. I think I just ran over the team. Huh. Okay. More Talons. I'll be right back. There we go. And I almost, uh... Missed out on getting that food there, too. Okay, very good. And another Talon. Wow, man, these, these, these pirates are coming at me in full force. There have been, uh... Two or three... Actually... In the last zone, there were, like, five? Uh, let's lock on there. There was, like, five, uh... Talons that came after me? Damn, you're... What was that? I'm sorry, I missed I missed that there. Pick that up. Please pick this up? Hmm. Just having a tough time picking that up there. Okay, let's uh okay, hold on, let's There we go. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, cool. Okay, and that food was getting away from me there. So, I'm not too worried about it. Alright, finally we can make the jump to Capella. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It really is a short trip, but with, you know, with getting all that extra food there, might as well. Might as well make a little extra money. Yeah, these every zone we've we've jumped into, there have been talons ready for us. So either the retros know that we're coming, or it's just an unlucky day. But I really think that the retros are trying to up their game to try and stop me. But then they realize that they're flying talons, and they just don't have a chance. Okay, and that food's pretty far away, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Here in the Capella system, I'm guessing that's the Drake base there. Let's head over there, see if I'm in fact right. Yep, that's it. And you knew it was going to be in an asteroid field. Because that's just my luck. There you go. So having the speed enhancer is good, but let's realize this is going to mean that I have a, more of a chance of hitting asteroids faster. But that's okay. I'm ready for it. Alright, so we just keep the... Keep the, uh... Keep the guns going. Case. Now entering an automatic landing zone. That issue occurs. Woo! I was definitely about to hit that asteroid. Alright. Now, we've successfully made it here. So let's see... Actually, first off, let's go to the commodity exchange. Let's see what I have to sell here. Hoo-hoo! Lots of tobacco. Oh, let's definitely sell that. Yeah, I definitely had a lot of illegal food there, so that's good. All right, let's head to the bar. And there's the informant, ready again to see us. You were looking for me? Yes, I'm glad you've come. Normally, I'd consider a privateer like you far too risky to confide in. But your recent destruction of Kal and Manesh gives me faith in your trustworthiness. My clothing belies my true calling. I am a member of the Church of Man. Go on. I am one of Mordecai Jones' elite counselors. 
I, like all my brethren, have sworn to accomplish the destruction of all technology, and I believe that our ends justify the means we use. What do you think? Sorry, but I think you guys are nuts. So I expected, but our interests may coincide for a little while. Let me tell you the story of Mordecai Jones. He was an unknown when he joined the Church of Man five years ago. He started as a ship technician, but by virtue of his astounding eloquence and technical skill, he quickly attained a position of leadership. Within a year, he commanded a church battalion. Within three years, he was an elite guard commander. He was soon in a position equal to my own. When His Holiness Father Benengeli, the previous church leader, died a year ago, it was revealed that he had appointed Mordecai Jones as his successor. Jones' leadership brought the church a stunning string of victories. He provided us with new Kilrathi ships and stronger arms. And, of course, our new secret weapon, I believe it is known to you. My gun? Yes, the Steltec super weapon. Church engineers have already learned how to duplicate it. The copies have been used experimentally. Mass production is imminent. I don't believe your confederation can withstand such a powerful force. That's for sure. But I thought you were disgruntled. This whole situation seems perfect for you. Oh, it is. The average churchman's dreams seem about to be realized. But my high rank gives me access to some closely guarded secrets. Six months ago, I accidentally came upon some transmissions from Jones to Governor Manesh. They mentioned the ulterior motive, a plan I had never heard of. My suspicions were aroused. Further research revealed the nature of this plan. In summary, it led to Jones' domination of Gemini and gave Manesh a great deal of power and wealth. When the entire region was secure, Jones would dismantle the Church of Man. He planned to use churchmen as a police force. No ultimate destruction of technology, only megalomania. It's an old story. Somehow, though, I'm surprised that it worked again. That's some pretty wild stuff. It is. I've taken a leave of absence from my church duties, hoping to find some means of stopping Jones. Time is short, but I think you can save us. I have a plan. Save you? So that you can wipe out the Confederation anyway? No thanks. I like my electric razors and my holovids. I understand your concern, so I'll offer you a deal. If you succeed in destroying Jones, I'll give you my word that we will destroy all copies of the Steltec gun. Additionally, your name will be removed from the church hit list. Pretty crazy. Your word is all I have. That is true. Of course, during the mission, you will discover our headquarters. If you wish, you can inform the Confederation, and they can eventually destroy it. We will be forced to relocate. Very costly and disruptive, but it's worth it to me. Why me? Why not take this to the Confederation? A large fleet would be detected too far in advance. The jump tunnel could be blocked. There's no other pilot in Gemini with your reputation for success. I'm afraid you are my only hope. What are the details of the mission? You are to fly to the Valhalla system. There is a secret jump tunnel there. Secret? How does that work? We have contacts at the exploratory services. They have removed it from official records. Do not worry. I will enter the coordinates into your ship's navigation system. After locating the tunnel, you must jump to a new system called Eden. There you will find Jones and members of his elite guard. You must destroy them all. Return here afterwards. Wow! We're finally getting the truth about everything about Mordecai Jones, about what happened with our Steltec gun, and the truth behind all of his evil doings. Well, we have one objective now. Let's take him out. Sounds simple enough. Simple, but not easy. I wish you the best of luck, Infidel. Infidel? The hell are you calling me an infidel for? Alright, well let me check my time, and then we'll see what we can do today. Okay, well unfortunately I'm not going to have enough time to undertake this mission today. But what will happen when we finally reach Eden? Will we be able to stop Mordecai Jones once and for all? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCSBusterLP, check out my blog, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.